Hello. It's a beautiful day to return 11 books to the library, only three of which I have actually read. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll have seen probably a month ago by the time this gets posted that the library <laughs> reminded me that um, due dates are real again, and I have 40 books out. And I've had many of these 40 books for almost a year now. So I'm gonna take them back in slow little packets. So I have 11 today, and then I have a TBR that will probably, this will probably go up as part of that TBR actually, um, where I'm making a plan to read as many as I can of the remaining books before I return them. So yeah, that's what's up. Bye. Hi, I'm Caitlin. This is Book Chats. It's May. And well, it's April 29th, but it's basically May. The library called and, and they want their books back. <laughs> so I am um, live with you. I'm going to make my May TBR. I have 29 books next to me on the couch. I returned 11 books today. I have this list of the due dates of all these books and we're gonna talk about what I'm likely to read, what I should just return now, and what I'm gonna hope that I'll get to. But again, there's a lot of books. <laughs> the books that I am currently reading, I'm currently listening to an audiobook from the library from Libby called After the Last Border. Obviously, I will be finishing that. And I am currently reading an ebook from the library called World of Wonders, which I'm also planning to finish. They will automatically be returned. So they're not part of this stack of 29 books next to me. What is part of the stack of 29 books next to me is A Good Time for the Truth, Race in Minnesota, which I need to start reading again. I read um, two essays at the beginning of the month and I haven't continued yet. This has a hold list for it. So if I don't start reading it again within a week of this video going up, then I'm going to return it and just put myself back on the list and get it again later. And then this also has a hold list waiting for it, but it's a reread. So I feel like if I just sit down and actually read it, it will not be a problem at all. And that is Shadow and Bone. Obviously, I'm rereading this because the TV show just came out. I have not watched it yet, but I wanted to like refresh myself. I am like halfway through, so I just need to sit down and read it. And actually, a theme on this list is that I happen to have every, every Grisha verse book checked out right now except The Language of Thorns which I just read last year for the first time and I don't have Rule of Wolves yet because uh the library hasn't processed it yet. Those will come up later obviously when I finish Shadow and Bone I want to read more of those but also they're due in a specific order. So the next thing due after those that I have mentioned Black Girl Unlimited by Echo Brown right? Yep. Uh this was highly recommended to me by Mari from My Name is Marinez. And I just really want to actually give this a shot before I return it. So this is due on the 18th of May. So if I have not started it by May 7th, it's going back. First of the books that I am probably going to just return without reading and then read in the future is, is this it? Yes. Delia's Shadow by, I think, Jamie Moyer? Jamie Lee Moyer. We're going to decide right now. The thing is, there's no one waiting for this, so I could probably renew it. But also, I've had this for a long time, and I have not yet read it. But I'm interested. But am I interested over the other books? We're going to say, return this. And then I'll just put myself on the list later in the future. Okay. One down. <laughs> My goal should be to get half of the books off this list in a pile to return. Will I achieve that goal? Probably not. The next book to be due is actually Ruin and Rising. So I have to read both. I have to finish my reread of Shadow and Bone and then read Siege and Storm and then read Ruin and Rising all before the 22nd of May. I think I can do that if I really focus. I think I'm going to keep these for now. The next book that's due, I think I'm just going to send back and then pick up at a later date. And that is Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas. Obviously, I'm interested in this because it's Angie Thomas. It's a 90s book. When I think about everything I need to read in the next month, this one 
I know there's people waiting for it. I know I can just read it in the future. I'm going to return that. I need to look up whether anyone is waiting for this because if there are people waiting, I think I'll let it go and get it back. But this is The Lost Orphan by Stacey Halls, which was actually recommended to me by The Story Graph, and I've been wanting to read it since it was recommended to me by The Story Graph to get an idea of whether or not their recommendations are like really aligned with what I want to read. So I'm going to check if people are waiting for this. I'll return it. If not, I'm going to give it a shot before I return it. So I'll put that in the like try reading it pile. Uh, this one I'm for sure going to keep because I just really want to read it. I've been waiting for this book for so many years. It is Return of the Thief by Megan Whalen Turner. It is so thick. I don't know when I'm going to get to it, but it has to be soon. So May. The answer is May. I'm now getting to things that are not due till the end of May. So I feel it's achievable in my mind. I could read them within May, maybe. But I'm about to hit a bunch of things that are all due at the very end of May and the beginning of June. So I've got to be realistic. All right, the next thing that's due is Crooked Kingdom. Of course, before Six of Crows, because that's what I got in first. So these two will be next on my pile. And again, I really, excuse me, want to get to and reread these. I don't want to be hoarding them, but I especially want to reread these and all of the series really before I read Rule of Wolves. And somewhere around here I have King of Scars waiting because I, I want to be fresh on that, not just for the TV series, but for the conclusion to uh, the King of Scars duology. So we'll see. We'll see. All right. The next thing I have waiting is a book of poetry. So in theory, it won't be that hard to get through, but I haven't touched it since I checked it out like a month and a half ago. So I think I'm going to be honest with myself and return it. So I'm returning Bodega and I will just keep it on my list of things to check out in the future. Okay, we got three things on the return list, two things on the try it and then return it list, and uh, three, I guess, if you count that one, and then seven things that I'm supposed to read in May, and I still have a lot more books. These are books that I am, these next two are books that I'm reading for the booktube nonfiction prize so I'm definitely going to get to them in May. I'm not going to get to them in the last two days of April but I'm definitely getting to them to them in May and that is Black Spartacus and Cast. So these plus I also have to get a book that I haven't gotten in yet, Milltown. So add that to your imaginary list of what I'm reading in May which means we're up to like 10 books on my TBR. Am I willing to just turn everything else in? I don't know. This one is easy. I'll put it in the try and then return pile because if I try it and I don't like immediately read the whole thing, I'm not going to read it because it's a romance novel and that's His at Night by Sherry Thomas. I can't remember if I've read that one or not. And so I'm trying, I was trying to identify a book that I read in like 2019 or 2020 last year. And anyway, that's part of that. So that's going to be try and then return if I don't read it. I actually lied. Uh, one of my 29 library books is I was going to return it today and then I didn't at the last minute. And now I'm thinking maybe I should, but maybe I shouldn't. Anyway, it's Millenniagram, which I, like many of you probably saw um, Kayla mention on her channel Books and Lala when she was doing her read like your Enneagram. Anyway, I checked it out because I thought it was fun and not scary and not like intimidating. I was going to read it because a close friend of mine is really an Enneagram and she's been wanting me to like read my Enneagram for a long time and then I haven't touched it and I want to like so I'm gonna set a deadline we have the same birthday this friend and I and it's coming up next week so if I have not cracked the cover on that by my birthday then I am gonna return it that's the plan <laughs> all right then this one I really want to try before I just return it I've been waiting for this book for a long time and that is These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong so it's going on the May TBR because it's due on May 30th so you know and then I have a heart and a body in the world which I actually wanted to start before the end of April so I'm going to maybe read the first chapter of this and then make my decision that's the plan six of crows I've already mentioned okay now I have a little set of books that are books for a video I want to make about Lonesome Dove and I was not going to necessarily read the whole thing but like skim them for specific pieces of information I have made a goal of mine to make that video in Q2, which is one third over now. So these are the books for that video. So at some point during the month of May, because they're due at the end of the month of May, I have to at least skim through them. I don't know if I'm going to read them, but I still have that like hope alive. So 
and I think that no one's waiting for them, so I think I can renew them if I have to. Here is one that is 100% needs to be read or returned. Okay. Based on how much I have on my list, if I'm being honest with myself, it sucks because it took me so long to get this. But it took me so long to get this because of people like me. So I'm sure the line will get shorter. But it is Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. I know this was really popular in BookTube last year. I put a hold on it last year. I got it in finally, like, in, I think, March of this year. And I have to admit that there's, like, 200 people waiting for this. I'm not going to read it if I'm also going to read all these other books. So I just need to let it go. Ooh, that's hard. Ooh, I'll just put myself back on the list. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. The Lives of Saints, I'm going to read alongside the Grisha books. I have not actually read this one yet, so I think it'll be interesting to see. They always do a great job with these kind of accessory novels that are sort of part of the world and also available in our world, so I'm excited for that. But I'm not, like, pressuring myself to actually finish it, you know? Uh, King of Scars, I've already mentioned. I want to read this one before Rule of Wolves gets to me. And this one's not due till the beginning of June. So I'm going to put this on my June TBR, okay? How's that? June June TBR. <laughs> and you know, we don't have, we have due dates, but we don't have fines anymore. So the last books I have, okay, this one is tricky because I might end up having to read it if I judge the third round of the book to, BookTube nonfiction prize but I don't know if it will make it through and I don't know that I'm going to be judging that round and I just really need to focus on the books I'm reading now so I think I'm gonna let it go put myself on the list again and like freeze it in place and hope that if I need to I can get it again because that would not even start till June so I have time right and then the very last books I have this one Murder on the Titania which is like by a local author and just came up on a local author list and like sometimes I browse at the library okay so I don't know if I'm going to read it or not but I'm going to keep it a little longer and like skim it enough to know if I want to check it out again and then this duology which I don't think has a waiting list so I'm going to keep it and try to renew it and that is The Queen's Rising and The Queen's Resistance. I've read The Queen's Rising when it came out and then I got The Queen's Resistance but but Felt like I needed to reread The Queen's Rising before I read this one, so I am going to keep these, try renewing them, and I'm going to put them on my June TBR. So that's my June TBR. So I'm getting, I'm turning in five books. That's a um, real, real uh, high number there. <laughs> and then my giant May TBR plus Milton. <laughs> <laughs> so realistically, which of these am I actually going to read? I'm definitely going to read Cast and Black Spartacus. I'll probably finish Shadow and Bone. I don't know what else. I mean, follow my Twitter, I guess, and I'll keep you guys live updated on what I'm actually reading, what I end up returning, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.